I really want to please you. Just generally speaking. I want to please you as a person, as an individual, and as a woman. I just have this need. I don't know what it is. Kind of like, I have this need to please, but only to please the people who I like, with whom I'm close, with whom I connect. And that is you. I find myself not wanting to please anyone else, only you. And I don't know why. Or rather, I don't know why exactly. Perhaps it's because of my personality. I think I'm a giver, generally. I prefer to give than to receive. I mean, receiving is nice too, but it's much more fun to give. I derive so much pleasure from giving pleasure. I find it interesting in terms of what a woman needs, i.e. what you need. And I think there are a few key things which are required by a female from the person she's with. And I want to give all of these things to you. For example, I think first of all, a woman needs to feel safe. I think that's one of the most important things. I always want my partner to feel safe and secure. I don't want her to feel vulnerable or like she's in danger, but I want her to be able to be vulnerable with me because of course I will also be vulnerable with her so I think that's very important but yes I think I think a woman needs to feel safe that's really important my partner needs to feel safe you need to feel safe and I'll always make you feel safe that's like a core need I think and off the back of that I think it's very important for a woman to feel secure and I always want to make you feel that I always want to make you feel that you have security with me that no matter what happens I will catch you and that you don't need to worry I think that's also super important relationships are interesting within themselves because Relationships, amongst other things, are about what a person needs. Of course, they're about what a person desires. Relationships <laughs> have a very heavy desire component. But basically, we're attracted to who we're attracted to based on our needs at the time. And needs can change and evolve. And indeed, they do. For example, the person you liked when you were, I don't know, in your early to mid-teens or whatever, may be different, or wildly different from the person you could like now, because your needs are different. But I think for a woman, for you, your need to be safe, to be secure, that never changes. And of course, I know you can be safe and secure within yourself, but I love to provide that for you. I love to provide you with that feeling of safety, that blanket of security. I love that you could be vulnerable with me and it's perfectly okay for you to be vulnerable with me. That when you're vulnerable with me, you'll always be safe. And I love that. Hmm. I find myself just really wanting to, how do I explain it, just really wanting to be close to you, just really wanting to connect with you, to know you, I think this is another thing which not just women need, but everyone
everyone. I think on some level, deep down, everyone wants someone with whom they can connect. Everyone wants someone to understand them. And it's, I think it's like a basic need. We're all individuals. There are no two people on the planet who are exactly the same. Even identical twins, they're not exactly the same in their minds and the way they think and their exact experiences. And to the core, deep down, everyone just wants to be understood. When you find someone who you feel that understands you, it's invaluable, it's the most amazing feeling in the world. And that's what I want to give you. I really just want to connect with you on a deep, deep, emotional and individualistic level. I crave that. I love speaking to you for hours. I love listening to you. I could listen to you just talk for ages because I just want to know everything about you. I want to know what makes you tick. I want to know what you enjoy, what you desire. I want to know what you fear. I want to know about your history. I want to know about the friends you've had, about the things you've done. I want to know your ambitions. I want to know what you want out of life. I just want to know all of it. And I really just... I really just want to be close to you. I just really want to connect with you. It's not something I can help. It's just something I want. And I want it so, so much and so badly. And I love that we can connect. It makes me immeasurably happy. I cannot even convey to you how happy it makes me. <laughs> mm. So as I said, I think we all have that need. I also have the need to be understood on, on a deep individualistic level. And I think that's something you can also do for me. That's also some somewhere we connect. Just as I want to be able to be as vulnerable with you as you are with me. I want you to understand me as I understand you. And I have no doubt that you can. Maybe I'm getting too fussy. I don't know. <laughs> I have this other need, actually. And I don't know if you know this about me, but... I have a very, very strong need to give affection. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a giver. And one of the things that I need to give is physical love, affection, essentially. I can cuddle for hours and hours. I love the feel of your skin. I love it. I love it when we're skin to skin, when we're touching, because I can feel your warmth. It's like I can feel your energy. It's like we're exchanging electricity through our skin. Love that. Mm. And I love being that close to you because I can also smell the natural scent of your skin. And that drives me insane. I love it so much. I feel like I connect with you on the biological level, on the cellular level. It's crazy. You just smell so good to me. There's a theory, actually, about, it's like a genetic theory, on why people smell good to each other in terms of desire. It's to do with genetic diversity. So the more diverse two people's genes, you know, if you're a man and woman heterosexual, the more diverse two people's genes, the more likely they'll smell nice to each other because <laughs> mixing those genes will create powerful offspring <laughs> or, you know, good offspring. <laughs> I thought it was quite interesting. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, you smell really good to me. I, I can't get enough of it. Yes, yeah, so I have this need to give you affection, not just cuddles. I want to give you kisses as well. I love kissing you. I love it. <laughs> I love kissing your skin. I love kissing your cheeks. I love kissing your neck. I love kissing your lips. Just all of you. All of you. You are just... Ah, you are just perfect, head to toe, and I just need to give you affection. 
I need to give you all kinds of affection. <laughs> I want to give you reassurance, cuddles, physical affection, and other stuff. Because you know, you know I want to please you in other ways as well, right? And you know what ways those are. And as you know me, and as I've said, I'm a giver. And that extends to every part of what I want to give. I don't know if I've told you this, but from when I was younger, one of my biggest fantasies was to undress a woman. I thought it was the highest honor for a woman simply to allow me to undress her and explore her. I thought it was the most incredible thing ever. And actually, I think I still carry that attitude and that fantasy. It hasn't changed, actually. I still believe that. I still believe it's the highest honor for a woman to allow me to undress her and to allow me to explore her. So I really do believe it is the highest honor when I can do that with you. And there's so much more I want to tell you. There are so many more ways in which I want to please you. It kind of makes me ache thinking about it. I ache for you. Does that sound funny? Does that sound weird? Do I ache for you? When I'm away from you, I almost get this kind of physical pain. It's weird. Oh, I really do. Thank you for listening. Unfortunately, I have to stop the YouTube video here because if I go any further, then YouTube will take my video down. <laughs> So if you want to listen to the rest of this audio, head over to my Patreon channel, where I basically tell you all the other ways in which I want to please you. And so I'll see you over there if you want to listen to that. If not, totally fine. I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already to make sure you don't miss it. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.